Hello, Divine Feminine. So this is your weekly reading, okay? So hello to all my new subscribers and to all my subscribers, period, okay? So this is a Divine Feminine Twin Flame Divine Partnership reading. What's going on with the Divine Feminine, okay? This is a general reading, so if you would like a personal reading, just email me in the description box below. What's going on with the Divine Feminine? We want to see <clears throat> her current position. We have the Fire, the Queen of Wands. Um, this is a Twin Flame Divine Feminine. This is um, a very energetic um, Divine Feminine. She is very outgoing. She is very social. She is very... Um, she cares about her loved ones. Um, she likes to stay very busy, very energetic. She's always um, the center of attention, okay? So, what does the Divine Feminine desire? She desires to stand up for herself. She desires to stand up for what she believes in, whether it is wrong or right. Okay, the Divine Feminine is guarding herself and protecting her heart. Um, she, she feels that you know, she has to defend herself and stand up for herself, okay? And that's what she desires to do. What is helping the Divine Feminine get... What is helping the Divine Feminine? Abundance, happiness, groundedness, the Ten of Pentacles. This is... Um, this is a grounded energy. This is a Ten. So this is an ending, but it's also a beginning. I see it as a beginning of being a prosperous. This could be, um, you know, inheritance. This could be um, just feeling overwhelmed, uh, not overwhelmed, but fulfilled um, material-wise, okay? Um, a, a groundedness, a feeling secured. So she feels secure enough to hold her ground and um, stick up for the things that she believes in and to go forth with um, what she feels, okay? And um, to not back down on how she feels and to take action on that. So what is her obstacles? Her obstacles is temperance. Her obstacles is... Um, taking things in moderations. Um, this is patience. This is um, balancing out the behavior, um, your behavior within you. This is hot and cold. Um, I feel like this is balancing out, you know, um, basically your emotions, the, the burning desires, your passions, your desires, your wants with your emotions, okay? What's the outcome for the Divine Feminine? What is the outcome for the Divine Feminine? The outcome is the Hierophant. The outcome is, um, this could be tradition, a wise person. This could be facilities, uh, like a therapist, healing yourself, healing your soul. Um, this could be a gathering of people, but this is wisdom that you learn and from uh, you learn this through life, okay? You, you, you learn from your mistakes and you grow. So this is accomplishments. I feel like the Divine Feminine has learned a lot and has developed uh, a good intuition to, um, to learning, um, you know, to learning the, the, the Hierophant's ways, okay? And the Hierophant's Ways is about tradition, but it's also about, you know, um, you learn 
from without, from the people around you, from the experiences. Whereas the high priestess, you learn from within with your intuition. And um, this is, you know, um, learning values. So in the middle of the deck, we have, um, this is a fire, um, a fire sign. This is, um, fire is very masculine energy. And this is a passion, a new romance, a, a passion, a desire for love, for want. Um, this could be very, very romantic. Okay. So I feel like the divine feminine has this burning desire and it, it it's helping her get what she wants okay what she desires and what she desires is the queen of swords okay she desires the truth she desires the truth and nothing but the truth she even if it's um cold even if it's um heartbroken she wants to know the truth and she wants the truth period so i feel like you know the divine feminine is you know um, not backing down from the truth and sticking to her guns and to what she believes in, okay? That's what she wants. That's what grounds the Divine Feminine um, is the truth and wanting to know the truth. And um, also, it's something that she really desires. It's like a sensation that is growing within her. So Divine Feminine, she has this current position you know, and energy of happiness, of home, fulfillment, of, um, you know, just the Ten of Cups, feeling secure within her home life, being happy, having abundance, also having groundedness, okay? Um, and she has the groundedness because she has the Ten of Pentacles here with the groundedness and security of the home life. And she feels emotionally fulfilled right now, okay, within her home life. And her surroundings okay so the divine feminine has the world card the will of fortune in her challenging in her obstacle position the reason why she has this is because um, well for first the world card is about change it's ups and downs. It's the cycle of life, okay? And, you know, we don't like change because who wants to change, you know? They don't, we don't like this card sometimes. Well, most people don't because it brings change, okay? And that's what's going on with the Divine Feminine. This is two major arcanas. This is real strong energy from the universe. This is signs and, you know, it's like the universe is saying, let's change, let's do things. Um, saying take it in moderations and have patience, Divine Feminine. Um, I feel like Divine Feminine, you're on the right path. You are um, starting to feel this change in motion as the will goes around. And, you know, you just, ha you're, you have this grounded stability and a burning desire for new things to come in. And that's really what, what's helping you, Divine Feminine. With this will of fortune okay and temperance is also there to help with the will of fortune with the change of life with the cycles of life okay so the outcome we also have tradition and values that are helping and you know knowing that you have people around you that support you and care about you and it it, it brings the sun okay these are two major arcanas as well these are very strong energies coming through divine feminine so just know that you are being watched um, divinely and divinely guided. You have the sun card, which is a very positive, warming card. And it is the most positive card within the tarot deck. So there is light at the end of the tunnel here, Divine Feminine. Um, I feel like, you know, you are being guided to the light, okay? Uh, the will changes and it's changing in your favor.
What's going on here? Okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This energy here is um, an energy of... The cups are all about emotions. The Queen is very sincere. Um, the Queen of Cups is very emotional. She wears her heart on her sleeve. Not only that, she is very um, open to emotions. She's very intuitive. Um, this Queen of Cups can be um, smothering sometimes, but she is like a mother figure. She is very caring for her loved ones, and um, she's always looking for ways to improve that, um, the care for her loved ones, okay? So I'm going to put the Queen of Cups here. So, Divine Feminine, this is all about um, you, Divine Feminine, okay? So, Divine Feminine, we have the Tower card here, okay? Now, this is, I'm, I'm really feeling, Divine Feminine, that, um, you know, you have this strong awareness about you, okay, of what's going on. And you're very secure within your home life, okay? And um, I, I really feel that something is going to come in and shake up your house, okay? Come in and shake up your surroundings. And the reason why I say that is because we have the Tower card. But not only that, is that we have the, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana. And it is in the challenging position. So this is coming in and it's changing and it's... It, I feel like it's working in your favor, Divine Feminine. Even though we have the tower here, this is a blessing in disguise, okay? So, something's going to come in and shake things up for you, Divine Feminine, okay? And, you know, I feel like you feel this already. Um, it's got you more in your feminine state, um, in your um, sensitive if, with emotions, and the things that are happening around you, okay? You're more aware and intuitive um, feeling of emotions, Divine Feminine. But you're also wanting to take action and, um, you know, work in this energy to get things going. Because you, you have the tower right here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, so what you desire, you desire, I feel like you desire to stand up. Stand up for yourself, Divine Feminine, and to tell the truth on how you feel and what you believe in to your Divine Masculine here as the um, page of, I mean, the um, King of Pentacles. You want to see him in the 3D, and I feel like these two people are looking at each other, and, you know, you're telling him the truth on the matter, and you're sticking up for yourself um, in, in this card, you know, you're sticking up, you're holding your ground, you're telling the Divine Masculine how you feel, what you want. And he's sitting there and he's listening to you, okay? Divine Masculine is listening to you. He is um, not looking away from you, okay? And that's what you want and you are manifesting these things, okay, Divine Feminine? You are manifesting these things into your reality. Um, so, Divine Ma Feminine, you have the... This is what's helping you. You have the, the groundedness and the desire to start this new journey, okay? To start this new journey. And this new journey is coming on because the tower has, has you know, um, came in and has shook your house up from around you. And this is happening because, um, you know, it is a blessing in disguise. And I feel that you want to speak your truth about something and you will speak your truth about something. You have this groundedness and this Ace of Wands here to, um, you know, fire it up, start something, um, start something new, start something fresh. This is passion. This is a desire. This is a new love. This is new energy coming into um, a relationship, a spark into a relationship, um, to, something to bring the spark back to life, okay? And I feel like you know, you're, you're giving and you're sharing your of your gifts, Divine Feminine. This is giving and, and receiving, okay? So this is 
what's helping you and i feel like with the queen of swords is that you're speaking your truth to the divine masculine here so in your challenging position yes we have the the knight of pentacles okay the knight of pentacles is a slow witty knight he um He's very cautious at the things that he do he does okay this um could show up as an energy okay as um you know you're going to get to your destination um your destination is going to arrive you will arrive at your destination this is about planning and strategizing it is about you know making sure you don't run into any kind of roadblocks divine feminine um because this you're taking things in moderations with temperance here you're having the patience to get to your destination and to make things um not so much of an of an obstacle for you okay because this will of fortune is turning and it is a blessing in disguise with the tower falling but it's also about you know getting where you want to go and with this will of fortune, with it turning, I feel like um, a lot of things you're needing to take moderation and you're needing to plan um, ahead before you start your journey, okay? And uh, that is what's happening, you know, because Divine Feminine, we have the tower here. And I just want to pull one card for the tower. This is a... Clarifier for the Tower card. So, um, the Hierophant, and I'm wanting to pull that one, and that is the Queen of Wands. Take action. Take action, Divine Feminine. Be that Queen of Wands. Be that spark of light. Be that one who who goes after what she wants, you know. And this is the, the, the Hierophant. This is, um, we also have the Hierophant here as in the outcome. So, the Hierophant is about tradition. It is about learning from from um from your past mistakes and accomplishing them and i feel like you know divine feminine you are learning you are accomplishing things um and understanding that what needs to happen needs to happen and um you know this is an energy that is double as well because we have the queen of wands here so this is a twin flame divine feminine taking action moving forward um, in the current position, okay? Um, we have the world card. So this is a completion, okay? This is a completion. This is an ending to the tower, okay? This is an ending to, um, you know, what is being shooken up, you know? You have spoken your truth to your divine um, um your divine masculine i feel like you know you the the wheels turning but now it is in turning in in your favor even though the tower was in this spread that is a blessing in disguise and um it it is followed by the heret fin which which is you know um learning okay which is accomplishing you're learning from your mistakes so that you can move forward within your journey and we have the sun card here. The sun card is 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 very positive. It, it's very um, overflowing with warm energy. Okay, this energy is is very very positive. Not only is it positive, but it is uh, the light in the darkness. Okay, um, and it's just paired up with all these major arcanas. These major arcanas are very strong energies, and this is all in the outcome, divine feminine. Okay. So if you're having a hard time right now, don't worry. Plan ahead. You have what you need to to make this um, to make this week um, accountable and also to accomplish a lot of things within um, this week and on your journey. Okay, even though the will is turning, we still have um, an accomplishment to. To going through this this hard time in in your life um or if it's not just a hard time it is you know the tower falling 
you know, um, there is light at the end of the tunnel, Divine Feminine, okay? So what I want to do is pull a clarifier and energy for the Divine Feminine from the Wisdom of the Oracle message for the Divine Feminine. What's the message, Wisdom of the Oracle? What is the message for the Divine Feminine? The Observer, okay? So I said, you know, we had two Queen of Wands over here. So this is like, you know, Divine Feminine wants to take action. Well, Divine Feminine, you can take action into being the observer. Okay, let's see what this has to say. Essential meaning. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much so that they come to believe that this, that these, that this are, that these are the only reality. Other, there are, sorry, there are times when you need distance in order To gain perspective and understanding your circumstances from a more neutral vintage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do something exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illuminate is the miracle you seek and indeed find so let me read you the relationship message sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another it can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience but it over your conversation Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lead understanding and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself and others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. Okay, so let's pull some um, Lenormand cards for the Divine Feminine. What is the message for the Divine Feminine this week? What is the message for the Divine Feminine? So we have the fish. This could be finances. This could be um, this could be fish. This could be um, of course it is fish, but this this could also be abundance, happiness, finances. Finances turn into uh, not only finances but happiness and abundance and um, and the tree is about health and wellness and security and groundedness. So. Um, I, I'm seeing this, you know, we have this, and then the dice is about being lucky, you know, Divine Feminine, do you feel lucky, or, you know, are you, are you, ha are you eating good with yourself, you know, are you, you know, um, keeping yourself grounded, and I feel like you are, you know, and, and your health as well. I feel like most Divine Feminines out there are very grounded within their spiritual self, very intuitive. 
Um, and it's like, you know, they're saying, go ahead, go ahead and gamble, you know, go ahead and play, go ahead and do the things that you have to do, okay, um, to make yourself happy, okay, um, Divine Feminine, I feel like you are grounded within yourself, um, you are like the roots on this tree stuck into the ground, and you have a lot of prosperity and abundance about you. To, to to gamble with, okay, to see what's out there, be the observer, take it from a distance, okay, and see what's going on, even if you have to take that, um, that, that step, that first step, to look, look at the things around you, and observe um, your next move, not only observe your next move, but um, this gives you a great idea, and it gives you more stability within yourself, to be the observer so that you can act upon that and you know divine feminine we have you acting this strong sense of of taking action into what's going on okay um so yeah thank you so very much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful week